Yes, my good people, <laughs> it is a beautiful week. Yeah, the first day of the week. It's Monday morning here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia to be precise. Another beautiful week. We look forward to great things that are about to happen in this week. Before I start, I want to encourage you with this word. I want to tell you something. Okay? From experience, I know situations come, tough times, hard times, difficult moments in everyone's life. I want to read a story for you. A story about a young man, a 19-year-old man in the U.S. Just listen carefully. I just want to give you this motivational message this morning before we go to football. <laughs> we are blue. Yes. But I know the times that we are in now are a difficult moments for a lot of people. And we try to use football to encourage ourselves to be happy, to be excited. But one way or the other, sometimes our teams disappoint us. Our teams fail us. Or we think we are just about to win or we are winning. Just listen. And I believe that this word is for someone like you. To motivate you this morning, never not to give up. Because God got your back. On September 25, 2000, 19-year-old Kevin Hines attempted to end his own life by jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge, plunging over 220 feet at a speed of 75 miles per hour. He hit the water below, shattering three of his vertebrae and narrowly missing severing his spine by two millimeters. Despite the odds, he miraculously survived the impact. Upon realizing he was still alive, an intense will to survive or, or to live surged within him. Yet, the weight of his clothes continuously pulled him beneath the surface of San Francisco Bay. For what seems like an eternity, he struggled to resurface briefly, gasping for air, just enough to hold on to life. This is a man that wanted to commit suicide. But after jumping that height into the water, realizing that he did not die, he now began to struggle to come up to the surface of the water to get air. Now listen. Suddenly, he felt an unusual force from below lifting him up above the water surface where he remained until the Coast Guard arrived. It was only later that he discovered the mysterious presence keeping him afloat. A sea lion had been supporting his body until the rescue boat arrived, as eyewitnesses had observed. His story gained major media coverage and has since become a motivational speaker and advocate for suicide prevention. This morning, I don't know what your troubles are. I don't know what's pushing you right now. But definitely, I know we all have problems individually. But I just want to let you know, even in the midst of the trouble, help is coming your way. Support is coming your way. He wanted to take his own life. It got to a stage, it got to a stage in, in your life as a man, wherever you are. You, sometimes you feel like to end it all. Sometimes you feel like all hope is gone. Like this young man. When he thought all hope was gone. When he thought no help from anywhere was coming in. A sea lion. A dangerous animal in the sea. Is what rescued him. The animal, the sea lion was supporting him above the water. He never knew what was suspending him. He never knew until the coast guard. There's a the navy in the US. Until they arrived to rescue him. Your sea lion, God will send that sea lion to rescue you. That thing that is troubling you, that your challenge, that difficult thing that is weighing you down, trying to weigh you beneath the water, your sea lion will be right there to support you. Don't give up. Chelsea, we will not give up. We are blue. That is my message for you this morning. And another five minutes, I'll talk about Chelsea briefly and I'll come back again with exclusives for you.
If you like this, then I want you to comment down there that you like my motivational, you know, words, uh, encouragement words to you this morning. I want to hear from you in that comment section. And subscribe if today is your first time. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video and share the video. All right, we go to our first news. And we start with our goalkeeper and what the coach has said about him. Mauricio Pochettino on Robert Sanchez. We are so happy with him. Of course, he is disappointed and upset with his decision. But mistakes happen in football. This goal gave the belief to us now. We can maybe read better the situation. The tempo, the timing, we can take risks on 77 minutes because it's our philosophy. But maybe there is another decision you can take. It's not to blame someone. It can happen. It will arrive with time. When to be calm and when to take risks. And we are still a really young team getting to know each other. He said a lot in this statement, my dear friend. It's the first message for you, so I'm taking it easy. <laughs> yes, I'm taking it easy because it's the first of the day, the first episode for the day. Later in the day, I'll be bringing with a lot. I will come up with a lot. Now, listen to me carefully. He's telling us that we shouldn't blame the goalkeeper that much, that it's not just an individual thing. He admitted that the goalkeeper made a mistake. He said, of course, he, dis uh, he, he himself is also disappointed and upset with his decision. But mistakes happen in football, which we know. He said, this goal gave the belief to us now. Yes, it was that goal that gave the belief to us now to come back into the game stronger. We can maybe read better the situation. The tempo of the game at that moment. So we can read better the situation. The tempo of the game, the timing that the goal came in, he said, we can take risks on 77 minutes. The risk that he took was making those changes. Taking out Moidrick, taking out um, um, Kopama, and bring, bringing him in uh, with James and, uh, and uh, Nicholas Jackson. Those were the risks he's talking about. But maybe there is another decision you can take that will depend on individual. It is not to blame someone. It can happen. It will arrive with time. That means that with time, things can change. Everybody will grow into the game. But the mistake had already been made. This morning or this evening, depending on where you are, maybe you are about yet to go to bed and you are hearing this from me. I'm bringing this to you as the first message of the day with my motivational speaking so that someone somewhere will know that we are in a new week. We can continue to analyze the game of Saturday, which I'll be doing continuously today. But I need you to know we still have another game ahead. We need to begin to focus our attention on the future. We need to begin to plan towards the future. The next game, let me put it, it is a must win. The team is growing. Chelsea is growing at a faster pace than ever. The way the team is performing right now, you could see it clearly. Modric as individual is now getting there he's the, according to the coach he's not there yet but he's getting there Kopama, you could see the confidence of Kopama. for him to even look i'll come to that in the second my next episode about that goal uh, that that penalty i'll come to that in the next episode so i just wanted to understand there is hope for chelsea there is hope for you and so there is hope for chelsea don't give up. It is a new week. Look up. Look forward. You are a winner. Remember, it's about bet winner. Yes. <laughs> As you can see it on the screen. If you have not yet registered, try and register. Make a deposit with them. Play games with them, for you will surely win. I'll see you on the other side. Shalom and peace.